How to enter data in the Excel program on symptom monitoring. Charts on symptom trends will be generated automatically. This spreadsheet automatically generates charts on trends for each symptom. We only have to enter the date, the dose of B1, and the score for each symptom. For example, let's assume today is the 1st of November 2023. I will enter the date as follows. 01 forward slash 11 forward slash 2023. Let's assume I'm starting B1 with an oral dose of 100 milligrams. I will enter 500. Now, where it says symptom 1, we're going to replace this generic name with the actual name of the symptom. Let's assume I have a tremor of the left hand. I will write symptom 1, left hand tremor. Next, let's assume I have fatigue. I will enter here symptom 2, fatigue. Let's assume also that I have walking difficulty. So I will write as my symptom 3, walking difficulty. Now I have to give a score for each of symptoms. I will use a score, the scale from 0, where the symptom is absent, to 10, where the symptom is very severe. Let's assume that I have a strong tremor on my left hand. I will enter 8 as a score for fatigue, 6, and for difficulty walking, 6. Next day, I have to repeat my assessment. Next day is the second, forward slash, 11, forward slash, 2023. Same dose of B1. My assessment will be 7 for left hand tremor, 5 for fatigue, and four for walking difficulty. At this point, the program is already generating charts for each of these three symptoms. Let's assume I've completed all the assessments for all the signs in the month of November 2023. This is how the spreadsheet will look like. Date, dose of B1, the three symptoms, and the scores given over time up to the 1st December 2023. Where are the charts? We go down here. We have master data is the name of Excel sheet where we have been entering the data for each symptom. Then we have S1 is the graph generated on trends of symptom 1. Let's click. This is the graph for the left hand tremor scores from the 1st of November 2023 to the 1st December 2023. This straight line is the trend line, which clearly shows a downward trend, meaning an improvement. We go to symptom 2, fatigue, the same. We have the scores as a line over time, and then we have straight line giving us a trend of the symptom over time in the month of November. The third symptom was walking difficulty, for walking difficulty, we can see a trend less pronounced than what we saw for the previous two signs, but still the trend is downward, showing an improvement. And what if we want to know the total score for all symptoms? So the sum of the scores given to each symptom. We click on total score here, and, and we have the trends of all the symptoms scores in this chart. The program also generates charts showing each symptom score together with the dose of B1. If you look at here, the dose of B1 was initially 500 mg, then it was increased in mid-November to 1000. So we would like to know what happens after the dose has been increased to the symptoms. If we go down here, we click on this little arrow to the left and here we have S1B1, symptom 1 and dose of B1 trends. The orange line is the one which refers to the scores of the first symptom, which is tremor of my left hand in our case. The blue line refers to the dose of B1, initially 500 milligrams, the scale for the dose of B1 is to the right, while the scale of the scores 
of each symptom is to the, to the left, 500 mg up to the 14th of November 2023, then doubling and showing that after the increase, the trend of the scores of the symptom of the left hand tremor becomes more evident. If you want to see the instructions on how to fill in the spreadsheet, you can click on the tab Read Me First and in a few lines you will have all the instructions.